this video, I will be introducing open data exploration, where you're working with data and a series of questions, uh, and you have to decide on the analysis. This is how things actually work uh, in the real world, if you will, of statistics. Nobody comes to you and asks you to calculate a mean or run a t-test. They come to you with data and ask you to help them answer some questions. So there's data here. Uh, it's a local example here on Pompeii. This is the number of cups consumed of sakao in a market back in the days when sakao was served in a cup, 2006. And there's some questions at the start of the assignment here. What is the difference between these markets? What's the nature of the difference? What is the story the data tells? That's your job as a statistician. Tell the story that the data you have. You have a pile of numbers. People don't do well looking at a pile of numbers and understanding the numbers. People respond to stories. Use statistics to help tell the story inside this data here. And I'll show you how to get that data out. Uh, now, I'm doing this on a smartphone, uh, but this could be done on the laptop and quite frankly, would probably be a little bit easier on a laptop. But I like to work from my least capable piece of technology, which would be, in this case, my smartphone. And you can actually do these things from here if you have the right apps in place. <clears throat> now, as it notes here, my job isn't to report every single statistic I ever heard of. That will just confuse the audience. I'm trying to help them understand the data. The first thing I have to do is get the data to a spreadsheet, and that's going to take a little work from a smartphone. I have got to copy this data, and then I'm going to have to scroll and pull that little black teardrop down, and then I'm going to have to scroll and pull that black teardrop down. I'm going to actually swing a little bit to the left here. That's the way this particular selection thing works. And I'll come down here a little too far. I want to end at that one and then copy. Now I'm going to jump out of here now, and I'm going to go to uh, my desktop, open up sheets, and the lower right corner, open up a new spreadsheet, a blank one. Now I'm using the Google Sheets app to do this. On a laptop, you can use Google Sheets, or if you prefer, you can use whatever package you have. I'm just going to tap there again and press paste. I got an extra row in there, but I'll deal with that in a moment. Slide over here. I want to. I want my labels to be in the top row. It'll just make life easier. Tap again. Slide over here. Delete that row. There we go. That's how I want it to look. Let me see if I got it down to. Yeah, there's that one. <clears throat> so there's all the data. Now, there seems to be a, a sort of instinct to just try to copy every, you know, to select everything like this, and try to make a chart out of it. But, but that doesn't yield, that doesn't tell the story. If I, if I do that, I get uh, some mess like this that I don't even know what it means. Song Masra, I'm not even sure. It's trying to give me some kind of weird scatter chart. That doesn't have any meaning. That's not going to tell the story. You're going to have to tell the story. Now, as I noted, that means you have to know something about the data itself because you're trying to tell the story. So as it said back there in the assignment, uh, the background research on this would find that uh, people drink until they get the feeling, in theory, and then they leave the market. They're going to need three or four cups to get that feeling, uh, maybe more. And uh, the fewer cups, the stronger the sakao. People drink until they get the feeling and leave. So the smaller numbers of cups are would be uh, indications, potentially, of stronger shock up. Well, let me take a look at what this data might tell me. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to grab these and copy them. Oops, sorry. Undo. You can always undo. I want to tap. I want to just copy them. <laughs> tap over here. Tap. A, you know, tap. Tap again. And paste. I'm just copying those over. Uh, the data runs down to row 80. I can see that. It's a long data set. So I'm going to go ahead and run these formulas in. 
just like this. I know it runs origatos A2 to A80, so I can go ahead and put that in. So 76 cups were served at Pubita. I've selected, I'm tapping with my finger, and now I'm just going to go there and autofill. So I can see now the uh, cup counts. Uh, Pubita served 76 cups, non cop 27, Sangma 79, Rush Hour 45. If the formula is filled across, this is running D2 to D80. So it's counting all the cups. So that's uh, somewhat useful. Um, but potentially more useful will be taking a look at, gee, on average, do these markets serve different um, numbers of cups? A2 to A80. The average number of cups at Pubita is about 2.6. Okay. The average is often, is often, not always, but often a good number to calculate. Sometimes you might want the median. Well, those averages are not all the same. I'm going to use the A button here, go to cell, scroll down to number format. Poke around and explore. Uh, you learn by exploring. Remember, I didn't take a class on how to use a smartphone, let alone a spreadsheet app on a smartphone. Everything you see me do... I've just figured it out by exploring. Tap around and look. There's the undo button at the top, those curved arrows. I always undo whatever I've done. So I do see an average difference. I've rounded off the numbers so it's easier to look at. That might make an interesting chart because what that suggests, remember, people are in theory drinking until they have the feeling. So this suggests that Pubita must be stronger than rush hour because on average people are drinking fewer cups. I'm beginning to see a story emerge from the data and that's what I'm trying to do. Now what I'm doing here is I'm setting myself up to make a chart. I know I'm going to need those titles to make the chart make sense. So I'm, uh, let me do it this way. Different ways to do this but I'm setting it up so that the titles will be right above the average. Tap, autofill. I'm tapping. Yeah, I know you can't see the taps, but I'm tapping. Now I've got the averages right under the titles. This is going to make my life easier when I go to add a chart. That's the chart I wanted. The smaller column is the stronger shot column. It's a, I define chart. I don't need the legend. And... Uh, it would be nice maybe if uh, the color was closer to that of something like Sakao, just to make it pretty. Now, one of the challenges I'll face when working from my smartphone is I cannot directly insert this into a, uh, a, a presentation. We don't go to a conference and put a spreadsheet up. We go to a conference and give a presentation. So this submission will be a presentation, and this, this video will cover that in the later parts of the video. So right now I'm just setting up for that. So that's one piece of information. I've now got a beginning of a story to tell. I can tell the audience, and they can see it visually, that the Pubita has got a lower average in rush hour. In fact, that there's a sequence here, non cop song mass. Potentially Pubita is a stronger market. I want to take a look at one other thing. Let me look at that strong market there, that Pubita market with this, the 76 sum there. And uh, I want to go ahead and make, say, a chart of that data. Uh, it's chosen a histogram, and that's what I want. I want to see what the distribution of cups is, because if everybody is drinking uh, the two to three cups, and they're drinking to get the feeling, again, I won't need the legend. I'm trying to find the story that the data is telling me. And uh, I probably should help uh, work out the... Uh, would help if I labeled this y-axis. Probably should have done that on the other one. I can do that. The left vertical axis title should be the number of cups. The um, number of... Well, it's the number of... Um, it's the number of cups consumed per person. There we 
go. Put that in. It's probably disappeared up here somewhere. There it is. Have to drag it around. This one too, I should probably go ahead and work on that. Uh, as I should put on the, you can edit stuff, the average number of cups consumed. Label your graph so your audience knows what your uh, what the graph means. So that one's there. This one's a little too big. Gonna have to shrink her down, but she'll shrink down. It's a little tricky. That's where you learn to work your interface. There we go. Now, this chart is interesting because basically the columns that you have are one cup, two cups, three cups, four cups, and so on. And people drinking one or two cups, the two left columns, they are, um, they're not, they're not getting the feeling. Uh, the, you, I, I don't know people who can drink one small styrofoam cup. That's what we're talking about in terms of cups. And they, they get the feeling. So that means that people are not actually there to, to drink to the feeling. They're buying one cup to be polite and nursing it all night. They're there for the social aspects of it. That's why they're there. They're there to be social. And you can't uh, go to market without drinking. It's not polite to not to sit at a market without drinking sake. That's not done. So they're going and they're buying one cup or maybe having a couple cups, but they're they're primarily there for social reasons, and most of the customers are there for social reasons. So now I have a story I can tell. And I might want to tell the story of non-cop song mass rush hour and, and take a look at some of those. But for now, that's the story. The story is there and, and available for me to tell. Uh, I, I have a beginning of a story. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. I want to use that later. Tap on it, copy it, and so I'm going to uh, go ahead and put a check on this guy. Uh, I'll go ahead and call this uh, something so I can find it later if I need to. Uh, you can call it anything you want. That will then do that. Now I'll go out to my slides. Because you give presentations. Lower right corner, new presentation. You give presentations using slides. Not, uh, not uh, uh, spreadsheets. So this assignment will be submitted as slides. And so I'll take you through a little bit of this as well. Uh, let me give it a theme. Find a nice theme down here. Here I'm using Google Slides. It's free. It works uh, on iOS or Android, as far as I'm aware. But if you can use whatever makes you happy from doing your presentation. Uh, but here I'm going to talk about um, Sakao market consumption. Oh, if it'll fit. Hmm. Give it a title here, double tap. Now I'm not gonna copy and paste the data into my uh, into my slide. That would be kind of silly. Uh, besides, it wouldn't fit. I'm trying to tell a story and not bore them with all the data. Uh, let me borrow this style here. This is, uh, I could think of a better title. But I've got the averages. I'm going to tap once and then paste. Remember I saved this guy? Now it could use some work, obviously. It's a little too small for the slide, so I probably want to make it a little bigger. And I should probably work on the fonts in this guy. Oh, I wonder if I can bring the font sizes up. There we go. So it fits better. We're too big. That's better. So people can see it when I project it on the screen. That's that slide. Down here in the lower right, I can add another slide. I'm going to add this uh, 
let's take a look at um, you know we've got the uh, chart of the averages um, uh, whatever I want to put there but you'll notice I cannot uh, I cannot uh, insert that from here so what I'm going to do is go back to my spreadsheet and I'm going to screen capture those now I won't be able to show you my screen capture process because the software I'm using can't pull that up. But what I'm doing is coming back here and I'm going to screen capture these, move that out of the way, uh, using my screen capture for my phone, which is volume down power button at the same time. And then I'm going to use my screen capture software to cut the, out the charts to just the right size. I finished the screen capture, and so I'm going to go back now to my slides. Tap here. Uh, sorry, not tap. Go to plus, and now I can add it as an image. Now, there is another way to do this from a laptop. You can actually use insert chart and get back to your spreadsheet. But for this particular exercise, I'm going to have to do it this way um, because I'm on my phone. I, this is the only way I can get the chart in. But I can get the chart in. Uh, this is where you just have to play around and figure it out. We had another one of these and talk about the consumption patterns. Mm. Now here I'm just putting in the charts and pictures and again, I've already screen captured that. I did that in the pause there. Get that in there. Boom. So now I've got a couple charts, but now I have to tell the audience, I'm going to tell them, now, I don't want to put in huge amounts of text, but, uh, in fact, this slide, I probably don't want to use this slide right now. Let me see. G -g 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 yeah. Boop, boop. Let me change the, uh, change the slide type here. Oh, uh, just sort of add some text to it. Plus text. Just do it the old-fashioned way. Add a text box. Double tap on it. Um, and then here I can uh, put in maybe some of the uh, maybe some bullet points. Uh, it's going to be too small. Get those guys up. Don't have more than a, about five bullet points per slide. That That's about all you want. Don't don't overload them. Um, average consumption. Da -da. And so here's where I'm going to put in my conclusions. Average consumption shows potential strength differences, da 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 da, etc., etc. Press enter. Don't put in about more than five bullet points, but you're trying to. This is the part where you're going to tell the story of the data. You're going to tell the story the data has. Um, no. uh, drinkers uh, drink for social reasons and this idea of people go to Sakao just to get Sakaola actually the data suggests they go for to be social it's a place to sit and talk more so than uh, to, than becoming Sakaola if they become Sakaola great but they're actually drinking probably far too little to do so. So tell the story. Tell the story. This is where you're going to be, this is going to be your discussion and analysis, your con conclusion. Discussion, analysis, and conclusions. Based on the data you just presented, tell the audience what you found out. Tell the audience what the data means. Uh, for in this case a general audience at this point I've got my if I did some more work I've got my presentation done uh, and I probably should try to give it a name uh, so I thought, that's fine I'll give it the same name hope that I can sort it out later I'll use this left arrow and come back and I can see my chart is here I'm going to come back to back to the Google Slides app I'm using the Google Slides app here, uh, 
and this hot dog, three dog menu. I'm going to download it. This is an important step. Uh, I, I have to download it from this screen. I can't download it from inside the market, inside the presentation. I can't down. I cannot do it from here. By the way, if I want to, I can edit these now from this screen. I can sit down, go back to the editor. But uh, I can download it only from this main screen from the app, the first screen of the app. Um, I don't know why I did that. But <laughs> anyway, uh, so now I go back to Canvas, uh, back here, and I'm ready to go ahead and uh, submit this assignment. So I'll click over here. This is different than before. We're now doing a submission as upload. Uh, there weren't any files attached to this one, but you can see my marking rubric, and you can see how I'll mark it. Uh, zero, you didn't did not meet meets and exceeds uh, a zero three five scale, and they're all this way. And there's a description for each of these to tell you what I'm looking for for that particular. You can read the description. So do poke around, do look at these things. This is how where the 20 points comes from. The last one, did you draw conclusions based on statistical analyses and tests and obtained answers to the questions about the data supported by the appropriate statistics? Well, let me put that down for a minute. I click on submit. I'm going to use file upload and I've saved it to my device in this case. And there it is. I've already downloaded it. It's my SACAL market PDF right here. This first one here, plus some baby pictures. And then I simply click on submit, and it will upload that file. Oh, and I get some confetti too. So, and it says that I've submitted it. So this one is a file upload. It's a little different than the other ones because I'm not passing data out to you with questions. Uh, you're getting the data from the assignment itself and then uploading that assignment to submit the assignment. So you copy the data into a spreadsheet of your choice. You use whatever spreadsheet you want to use. You do your analysis and then move the critical pieces you need over uh, over to the uh, there's your data analysis. And once you've done your analysis, you move that over to your slides, and you can, um, uh, whatever you're using Google Slides, or if you're using PowerPoint, wouldn't matter. When you're done, you upload it. Whatever you, if you, Apple has its own presentation too, you can use that. So that's what I'm using at this point. I'm using Sheets, Slides, uh, to get things done. Open Data Exploration. This is the first one. You'll notice it's set for a couple days on the syllabus. That's because it probably will take you a couple days to work on this. You can see this is a, a lot to be done. You have to do some background research on the topic. What do the numbers mean? Uh, and that's always true as a statistician. You're always looking up data and trying to understand what it means. And, uh, and then explain to an audience when you analyze the data, what did you find out? What, what does the data tell you? The data drives decisions then. This suggests that markets have a social function. So maybe ambiance counts a little bit. Uh, strong Sakao is good, but people are also hoping to sit and talk. So uh, a market that's a little bit more comfortable might be just a tiny bit more popular. That's uh, the introduction to open data exploration. Different topics, different data. Uh, we'll do some more later in the term. But it's these that show me whether or not you actually understand how to use the statistics. I know you can calculate a mean. I know you can calculate a standard deviation. What I want to know is, can you tackle data and tell an audience the story of that data? because that's the work that people working with statistics do, and it's work you'll be doing later on when you're working for some organization or business or NGO or in the government. You'll 
have data at some point, and you'll need to tell the story of that data. With that, any questions, let me know.